guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching another motivational video. Today I'll be decorating for Valentine's Day. We just moved in and as Valentine's Day approaches, I really am ready to add some color. So I did add just a bit to be festive for the kids. Who am I kidding? I'm trying to be festive for myself too. So today I'm going to be decorating our entryway, our mantle, our kitchen, our dining room area, and then I'm also going to be decorating our back walkway area. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is my very first Valentine's Day clean and decorate with me and I really wanted it to be special and I really do think that it is a special one because today's video is in collab with 10 other special ladies. I will have all of the information listed down in the description box. We all decided to come together to bring you not only cleaning motivation, but also some Valentine's Day decor ideas. We are also doing a $250 giveaway. If you would like to check out the details, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. Other than that, I will have some more details listed down in my description box. Aside from all of those good things, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is share all of our decor with you guys, and then we're going to get to the cleaning and the decorating. First, I'm gonna be starting in the entryway. This is my favorite area, so I'm so excited to be decorating it. If you wanna see more of the new house, be sure to check out my home walkthrough. I'll have a link in my description box for you. In the entryway, I didn't wanna add a lot to this area since it is kind of small, so just a few pops of color made this area stand out, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Everything that I have for the entryway is from Hobby Lobby. I picked up two mama and papa bears, a house, garland, along with the candy dish, and I really love how it turned out, especially since I didn't have much of any other decor out. On the other side of the entryway, I kept it really simple. I spruced up our pictures and later added some fresh flowers. In the living room, I focused on the mantle area. I kept it pretty simple, adding candy, a candle, garland, and some extra Valentine's Day decor that I picked up from Marshalls. Thank you. 
We had a mix of things for the mantle and at first I was intimidated by the brown that we have, but I think it looks beautiful with the red and the Valentine's Day decor, it just brings it out. Aside from the mantle decor, we also added something extra special for the kids. We got them mailboxes that they can decorate and then once a week until Valentine's Day, we'll add something small for them to get them prepared and excited. This is also something that we wanted to do with the kids, just some small activities until we get ready to go on our vacation. Jaquan surprised me with a trip for Valentine's Day, so I'm not going to be here, but I still wanted to do something extra special for my babies. I didn't add pillow coverings to our throw pillows just yet. I will soon though, and I know it's gonna pull the whole living room together. I'm just gonna to have to share that in an upcoming video since I didn't share it with you guys today. For the kitchen, I got a few things from Walmart. I just had to take down a few decor pieces first. I added a lot of hearts in here and I loved it. It most definitely looks and feels like Valentine's in here. I wanted to go with red instead of pinks this year since I didn't decorate for Christmas, but let me know what color you guys are decorating for for Valentine's Day, reds or blush pinks. I wanted to keep it really simple on our countertops. I really don't like a lot of things on our countertops because it makes me feel like they're cluttered. So I like to keep those pretty empty. However, on our walls, I wanted to hang up some decor and I really wanted to use these command strips just so the takedown process of all of the decor will be easier. But you guys will see that I tried to use the command strips. It didn't really work out too well for some of the decor. This kissing booth sign was probably my favorite thing that I added to our kitchen. I just thought it was so neat. So when I saw it at Walmart, I just knew I had to have it. Once I added the kissing booth sign and the hearts to the wall in the kitchen, I realized that it looked a little plain. So I just went ahead and added some garland and it just tied the whole look together and it looked really good.
I did have Jacqueline go ahead and add our core bells. I think that's what they're called. We have these at our old house and I really love them. So I wanted to go ahead and incorporate them in our new house too. And I think this is a good place for them. Right now I'm just going to clean the kitchen so that later on I can bake and do other activities with the kids. Today I also added some new puck lights for our cabinets. I know it's not Valentine's decor, but I wanted to add it. I actually added some new curtains to the laundry room as well. You guys will see that later on. So I had originally added these fake roses from Walmart, but then later on, Jacqueline brought me some turnips. So I will have to show you guys that at the end of the video. I just thought it was so cute because I had just gotten this and then Jacqueline had surprised me with some new flowers. Here in our back walkway, I keep the kids games and books, but I still wanted to add some Valentine's decor. We come in this way majority of the time, so I know it'll be refreshing to see. I just added a few simple things and some greenery along with curtains for the room later on. Here in the dining room, I just wanted to add this new garland. We did get a new table runner, wall decor, and of course, more hearts, you guys. I thought it came out so cute.
the bar area, I kept it really simple since this is where the kids sit at to eat every single day. I just went ahead and put a cake tray and then I also just put like some little fillers on top of that. I thought it looked really cute and that way the bar area didn't look plain while the rest of the house was decorated. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling. It's not your jeans. No, what you got is deeper within. So here are the new curtains that we have for the laundry room or the utility room. I call it the laundry room. I think they look really good in here and I really do think the space is coming together really nice. Jekyll and I had originally planned on doing a sitting area, but I changed my mind and I want to do something different. So the new pieces that I have should be here soon. So I'll be sharing a room makeover with you guys. I don't need your pretty smile, your pretty smile. Oh, I just want your perfect mind, your perfect mind, yeah. That's all I really need. This year I also got some window clings for the kids. I knew that they were going to love these you guys. I used to do these as kids. As you guys can see I'm doing it right now too. And it was just so much fun. It's just a really cool Valentine's Day activity for the kids to do. We did do them on the inside of the door because it's so cold outside. But the kids had a lot of fun still. After we were done decorating, I wanted to do a few activities with the kids like baking, decorating cookies, we even had a cookie challenge, and then their mailboxes. So here they are before I start baking. They got started with their cookie challenge. Whoever had the best one, they won. And at the end, I'll share that with you guys.
here's how the kids cookies turned out i think they did a really good job and on top of that it was a really fun activity for the kids to do while i was baking of course jonah already had taken a bite of his i thought that was so funny you guys but i told them that the winner was london because she put the most time and effort into her cookie and it was really really cute and you guys can let me know down in the comments which cookie was the best Right now we're just going to start decorating the mailboxes while we wait for the cupcakes to get done and then after that I'm going to share with you guys how everything looks once the house is all clean. So this is how everything turned out for today's clean and decorate with me. I was so excited to see the pops of color, but I want to know what you guys think. Also, don't forget to head on over to Instagram to enter the $250 giveaway. I am so excited about this, you guys. But I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!